Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, uh, Nigerians. Good morning, Lagosians. Uh, this uh, issue at stake, uh, you would recall vividly, was properly negotiated. Uh, a timeline given for all these uh, agreements. Uh, in particular, the one you, um, you mentioned now, which is reference to the wage award and the minimum minimum wage. Minimum wage statutorily is due for this year, which is around April. And prior to this uh, time, the labor and the government agree that uh, because of the adverse effect of the subsidy remover on the life of an average Nigerian and the workers, there is need to design a, a, a palliatives which is called wage award to workers so that they will be able to at least sustain uh, pending when minimum wage will be reviewed. And as at that time, they have already requested for nomination of uh, committees, both from the union side and the government side. From the union side, both NLC, the two labor center, NLC, Nigerian Labor Congress, and the Trade Union Congress have since the review of minimum wage. But up to this moment, the government have not deemed fit to inaugurate the committee for action. But we, as a union, we are not waiting to that. Uh, we are not relenting. We have been doing our background uh, assignment in terms of uh, research into what we call not only minimum wage. This time around, it must be a living wage for all workers across board. So this prompted the leadership of the Nigerian Labor Congress to immediately put up a technical committee to research on the rates, the standard rates of an average Nigerian in each of the 36 states and FCT. We know there are peculiarities across it. Some states, cost of commodities, uh, minimum standard of living is above the means of an average worker. So we are going to negotiate this time around in line with all these socioeconomic indices across states put together, which will form the backdrop of what labor is going to propose to government whenever they are ready for the negotiation. But what we know for sure is that it, will not, it can never exceed April, because by April, the minimum wage will have been lapsed and it will not be of effect. So before they call us to a table, we are preparing our, our notes. We are doing our background research across states so that whatever we are putting across to government will be in line with the current reality and it will be a living wage for all, not just a take home, which cannot take people's. Uh, we will not be able to preempt the intention of government. Uh, we are a labor movement. We are always battle ready. We are focused and we are determined, and and we are and for sure you know we are partner in progress. Uh, so maybe two three weeks ago, uh, the current uh, acting minister of uh, labor and employment uh, issued a statement that uh, federal government is ready to clear the backlog of the areas of uh, wage award because they've only paid two out of four September and October. As as I speak, November December wage award. It's still pending and January is counting down. So she made uh, some issues, some official statements in this regard that they are very mindful of paying all this back now because it's affecting the life of an average worker seriously. As I speak, most of our colleagues in the public sector find it difficult to celebrate Christmas and New Year uh, with, uh, with, uh, with uh, entitlement. But be that as it may, they are, we are ready and we are hoping that they will pay this back now and refocus their attention to the negotiation table, which they have already established, so that they can institute and inaugurate this uh, committee formally, so that work can commence in earnest before a pre deadline, which this minimum wage will have uh, lapsed. So we are very, very optimistic. We don't want to be pessimistic. We don't know the intention of a uh, government, but they are working, as we heard, that they are going to inaugurate this committee soonest. But they know it's a statute, it's a statute, it's a constitutional, it's a constitutional matter. You understand? <laughs> and uh, government uh, is the should be the number one respecter of law. So they know for sure that the law of the land says if the for sure you know that we have our instruments and we have our uh, mode of operation. 
So we we'll give them some ultimatum uh, uh, approaching this uh, deadline to let them know the reason and the, the, the urgency of this uh, committee to commence work in NS. So we will give them the necessary timeline to know that this, if they have not, did they refuse to commit it, inaugurate this committee between so -so -so and so, so time, it will create a kind of vacuum, which means.